Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Python as a calculator. In this video, we'll be learning how to use Python for both elementary and advanced math operations. We'll cover topics such as mathematical functions, fractions, random numbers, and complex numbers. And the best part, you don't need to own an expensive calculator as Python is much more powerful. First, let's start uh, with the simplest math operations. We'll begin by learning how to add and subtract subtract numbers in Python. Launch a new Python interactive shell by typing Python on the terminal. That's Python 3 for me. Uh, and then type 2 plus 4. Hit enter and the output should be displayed quickly. You can also add real numbers, uh, 2.5 plus 4.3 will give you the output of 6.8. Two numbers can be subtracted using the minus sign. For example, 6.5 minus 1.2 will give you a result of 5.3. Next, we'll learn about multiplication in Python. Multiplication is done using the asterisk symbol 5 asterisk 8 will give you 40. You can also multiply real numbers like 2.3 um, times 6.1, which will give you 14.02. Division is another common arithmetic operation. In Python, the forward slash symbol is used for division. For example, 20 divided by 3 will give you 6.66. 6 However, it's important to note that it's not the behavior in Python 2. In Python 2, when you divide two integers, the division is performed as integer division, also known as floor division, which will return an integer. In Python 3, however, it was changed to floor division to true division. Floor division can still be performed using the double forward slash operator, so 20 divided by 3 will give you 6. The last of the common arithmetic operations is the modulo, also known as the remainder after integer division. In Python, the modulo operator is represented by the percent, percent symbol. Um, for example, uh, 5 modulo 2 will give you the output of 1. You can also apply modulo to real numbers like 11.5 modulo 2.0 which will give you the answer of 1.5 next up is powers and exponents in Python for this Python has a double star symbol for example um, 3 to the power of 4 will give you 81 both the base and the exponent can be real numbers, such as 2.5 to the power of 3.5, which will give you this uh, result. However, be careful when working with negative numbers as it may cause an error. Now let's move on to fractions. Python makes operations with fractions easy via the fraction function that is imported from the fractions library. So um, let's uh, import that from fractions. Let's import the fraction function. And for example, a fraction such as 5 over 8 can be defined uh, simply as, um, let's say, let's create a variable here named my fraction. And then uh, let's call fraction function and give it 5 and 8. And printing it will display as expected our uh, five and five over eight fraction so the good thing here is it can also be used with the same operations as numbers and the result of such an operation is also a fraction so for example um, my fraction equals fraction 3 over 7 plus fraction 2 over 3 will give us a result of 
23 over 21 and uh, we can also uh, have another example uh, let's try uh, divide, dividing it this time and printing it uh, will give us the result of 9 over 14 alright so now let's move on to random numbers Python provides random generator or random number generator rather by the random function that can be imported from the random library so to do that uh, type from random import random this will import the random function and this function returns a random real number between 0 and 1 so uh, for example let's try running uh, the random function and um, as we can see every call uh, produces a random um, number between 0 and 1 now sometimes we need to generate random numbers rather than real numbers so this is easy so uh, for illustration a random integer uh, between 1 and 6 can be generated via the code a random n is equals to uh, integer or int 6 times a plus 1 and if we print it as we can see we get uh, a random number the, no the random number 2 that's a random number between the numbers 1 and 6. We can uh, repeat that process to get another random number and if we print it as we can see we get we now get 4. Now finally we will cover complex numbers. Complex numbers are always represented as two floating point numbers the real and imaginary part. Appending J or J capital J to a real number makes it imaginary so 1j times 1j will produce uh, this result this is one way to define complex numbers 2 plus 3j will produce 2 plus 3j another way is to use the command complex complex 2 and 3 will produce the same result all arithmetic operations that are used for real numbers can also be used for complex numbers as well for example um, 2 plus 4j enclosed in parentheses divided by 1 plus 3j enclosed in parentheses will produce the following to extract the real and imaginary parts of a complex number z, use z.real and z.imag, I-M-A-G. Use the absolute function to get the absolute value. Alright, so let's um, take a look at an example here. So a, a is equals to 3 plus 4j and then to extract the real number a the real and we get 3 to extract the imaginary part a that i am a g and then we get uh, 4 and also we can um, use the absolute function to get the absolute value Alright, so in summary, Python is a powerful tool for performing math operations, but it's important to keep in mind that division and other arithmetic operations can be tricky. Always make sure to convert at least one operand to a real number to avoid mistakes that can be hard to find. So thanks for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe for more videos.